Hello all, Scott Grove here of Groovy Music Lessons with another free lesson today. Um, this is to uh, show you how to get all over the guitar neck. I'm using just an acoustic today, but you can use whatever you want. Um, this applies to bass players also. So um, hopefully some of you guys will check this out. I'll throw bass guitar in the tags and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, what I'm going to do is show you how to play all the notes all over the neck and how to recognize it. It's just another way. I've done this in a whole bunch of different ways to show you how to, you know, just get around the guitar neck. Um, I love teaching beginners way more than I like teaching people who already think they know it all. Um, first and foremost, for anybody listening, I don't care if you're Steve Vai or if you're... Um, Steve Johnson, whoever Steve Johnson is. Um, this whole thing about learning scales and modes and all that stuff, in my professional opinion, which is very professional, um, check out a bio of mine sometimes and uh, see what it's about, but then again, everybody has a bio or a rap sheet. <laughs> um, beyond just the major scale, and they have to throw a word with it. The major pentatonic scale, the major gin and tonic scale, or the lick -a lesbian scale, or the uh, Nickelodeon scale. Screw all that. Okay? Just learn the major scale. Um, it was Julie Andrews years ago, or whoever. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. You know, that one. <laughs> Beyond that, you don't need to know squat. So stop learning scales, stop learning modes, stop learning whatever, and learn to play guitar. Okay? You are not going to accomplish anything worthwhile by practicing scales and modes and learning all that junk and arpeggiating everywhere. And that's, um, that's not guitar picking, kids. <laughs> Uh, what you do there is a good buddy of mine who went to Berkeley um, said, I said, how was uh, the lovely college thing? He's like, well, I learned just enough over there to totally screw up my playing for the rest of my life. And I believe it. So he said, yeah, I've lost all the feeling that I used to have that made me me. And now I think my stuff through instead of uh, feel my way through it, which is a much better way to play. Um, it's better to invoke a feeling than it is to toss out a $3,000 lick that you know you learned at Berkeley or at the Grove School of Music, which happens to be my last name, but um, they still don't teach as well over there. And they, or they might teach as well, but they teach it crap. They teach you the you know, lick of lesbian scales and stuff, all that, and you, uh, there's no need for it. <laughs> there really is no need. To practice that garbage. If you are a person who reads tabs, throw them away. It's worthless. Sheet music, toss it. Uh, both are 99% wrong. They are made by people on YouTube and they just post them up any old where, especially like Harmony Central crap. They just toss them on there and they're wrong. Everybody gets them wrong. So why would you want to um, commit yourself to learning something wrong and then have to go Learn how to play a guitar and figure stuff out for yourself, and it's a lot more rewarding, and chances are it's going to be a lot more right than the 12-year-old who transcribed it for you. Okay, so enough of that rant. Let's get down to what I'm actually going to show you about how to get around the neck in a very easy way to do so. Okay, like I said, I'm just going to play straight acoustic today, and I guess I get to turn on the other light just to get you some ugh, light on the subject. Okay. Don't let the couple sets or two, what is it? There's double dots everywhere. Um, I'll name the frets. How's that? <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do today is break this into a few different ways. I'm going to show you things in uh, open, uh, just using open A string, and then I'm just going to show you how to, to get down from there, from the D string. And same on any string. And then how to go up from them. Okay, 
and this just gets you everywhere all over the guitar. I'm doing an open strings simply because you have a point of reference for most of the lick. Okay, um, this is going to be over what is actually called the um, blues scale and the um, major pentatonic scale and the minor pentatonic scale and none of it makes any flipping difference okay so here's what you this makes more sense to me and probably will to most of you too um just following a pattern okay so here we go in a a string okay you've got an a on the seventh fret of the d string grab that sucker with your ring finger so we have two a's i'm just going to bring it all the way down Okay, I'm not playing it that way for a certain reason because I want you to cover more of the neck and not stay in one place. Okay, all this is going to go somewhere because you're going to be covering everything from the 7th fret um, on down to the open position instead of staying. That's too easy. Uh, this has a purpose. It's learning all the way up and down the neck which is the point of this video. Okay, so here we go. Whatever trips your trigger with your uh, fingering hand. <sighs> okay. <laughs> A little give some butt head earlier and had to let one out. Okay, so seventh fret on the D string. Then fifth fret. Fourth fret. Second fret. Open. A, fourth fret on the A, then second fret on the A, then open. Okay, so that's the scale downward. This is a um, major pentatonic with a dominant seventh in it. Okay, if you need that, no, you don't need that. It's just too much damn thinking. Um, so it's just that. Seven, five, four, two open and then four two open on the a okay and of course you don't have to play the low a low a string it's just there to um, have some background for you to play against okay so you can make up a million songs just from that already um, Now the other thing here is going to go to the blues scale. All that means is you put a minor in, which makes it a minor pentatonic with a dominant seventh. Who wants to talk like that? Not me, but I just did. Cause I can, but it's retarded. It's guitarded. Um, and that just means instead of going to the four on the A string, we go to the three, then the two, then the open. So that's your blues. So. Then three two open. Okay, it gives it just more of a blue sound instead of a pretty sound. Because here we're just playing pretty. Just nice and pretty. The other way. All of a sudden it's got a little bit of bad boy to it. Okay? So that you need to know. Do it in E, same thing. Just do the E string. And then you're changing everything onto the A string. Four, two, open, or three, two, open. If you're rocking or bluesing, you're going to love that three. Okay? Okay, because it's just more of a bad boy thing, it's just it's a minor thing. Even though the band or whoever is playing in a major key, you are allowed to play that. That's called the minor third. So it's minor over a major chord. It is totally allowed. Don't let people tell you that something's not allowed. Uh, music has guidelines, not rules. Okay, so I'm showing you the guidelines. You play whatever you want. It can fit. Um, even if it's totally wrong, it can be right. Have you heard some of the music out there? Okay, so again, E. 
than either way. Which I like. Um, well, 3 2 open or 4 2 open. They're both musically correct. Okay, same on the D string and the G string. Okay, so that just gets you around the neck. It's just a scale. And okay, that's going backwards. Now we need to go forwards. So let's start with the A string again. Where we're playing two A notes, so the seventh fret on the D string, along with your open A string for reference. Okay, all you're gonna do is go from seven to nine, so you're skipping two frets, up to eleven, skipping two frets. So nice and pretty. Then up one more fret to the twelfth. Then up to the fourteenth. So that's two frets. Again, seven, nine. 11, then skip one fret, or just go up one fret, don't skip anything, up to the 12th, then skip a fret and go to the 14th. And you could keep on going up to 16, and then go up to, if you want to go all the way up to the 20, or the, uh, so you got the 14, 16, 19, 20, yeah, so 20th fret will bring you all the way to the A again. And then 18. Uh, back to, let's go back to the 7, 9, 11, 12, 14, 16, 17, and then 20. Okay, so that'll take you all the way if you want to go all the way up the neck. Okay, then you're back to where you were. Okay, so it's playing the same thing. So the same thing we did down here. Okay, so that's just getting you up and down the neck and getting you familiar with what will mix with what. So if something is in the key of A, you know that you can play any of those notes. But you don't have to go playing them in that order. Of course not. These are just scale orders. Okay, so you can go from... Okay, so pick your orders. Okay, just mess with those. Um, it just shows you what notes you can hit. Which, which notes you should not hit. But the main ones that you want to stay away from are anything um, Okay, the very next one for sure. It's just horrible. But you can use it as what's called a passing tone. Um, people do it all the time. Um, there was a song Baby, hold on to me. Um, just like Money. You know, that, that shouldn't really work, but it does. And the world knows that song if you're more than, you know, 10 years old, then you should probably know that song if you don't. Um, you need to listen to some more music, kids, and get away from the two bands that you listen to. Chances are you're not ever going to be in those bands, so move along and <laughs> listen to some more people. Um, again, uh, it's all about knowing the neck. Okay, now the other real trick to this and point to this is to know that um, if you are, like say, on the A string and doing the A thing here on the D string, okay, you got octaves. And because of the goofy way the B string is tuned, because, you know, you tune five open, five open, five open, you go to the B thing, it's like four open, then back to five open. Okay, so the way the B string's tuned, normally if you got an A here on your fifth fret of your low E, you can just skip a string and go down to the D string and play the seventh fret. And you got octaves. Same thing down on the A and G string. Okay, but when you do the A and then the A here on the seventh fret of the um, D string, to get an A on the B string, you have to skip two frets because of the way it's tuned. Okay, so 
so you gotta go up there. So now if you're playing the A string, okay, and here's where you start to learn something and see if you've learned something. Okay, so now you know where the A is because you did this, skip two frets, skipped a string, and went up to the B string. Okay, now we're getting rid of our security blanket, getting rid of that guy. So now we're playing the A string, and now the A on the B string. Now we gotta do the same licks we did before, or the same notes. So now that is gonna be what? Well, just look at it. This does you a lot more good than learning by tablature and all that garbage. You'll remember this. Look at this again. You went here, down two frets, then down one, then down two, then down two, then down one maybe, or two, however you want to go. Down one or two, whichever it was, then down two again. Keep that same pattern in your head. Okay, so you got here, you're on the 10th fret of the B string. Down two. Down one, so you're down to the seven. Down two again to five. Down two of them again. Down one. Down two again. And then you have to go to the A on the G string, second fret. Okay, so you have. good to use your A as a bass note it to be able to find out what's going to work, what's going to clunk. So here goes a clunker. Okay, you know that's not it. So you, okay. And then after you do this a few times, you'll realize what notes you can and cannot play, period, in the key of A. But do this with every string. Okay, find your A on your D string, find your A on your G string, up two, up two more, up one, up one, or one, two more, up two more, up one more, up two more, and then you're done. And do it here. find a place for the last note. Then do it on your um, high E string. Okay, it's too low down there to get that A. So start it way up here at the 18th, oh, I'm sorry, um, 17th fret. It's very important to learn these, as stupid as it sounds, um, to learn them in every single key. But what's going to happen the more important thing is going to be the pattern, okay? Um, patterns will stick with you more than, well, anyway, the uh, square root of the hypotenuse of whatever times pi equals the Pelagrian uh, theorem equals the Mixolydian scale of the... Who cares? Learn to play guitar, <laughs> okay? Quit trying to do math. I flunked math. I don't care. And okay, now after you have all these notes under your belt and these patterns, okay, so here you are again in A. Okay, then you can start going back and forth and hit the other notes after it. And the note you played before it. be very helpful. And here. Okay, so whatever it takes to get the notes. And then you will start being able to put them all together. All of a sudden you're like, okay, I could play way up here. And I remember I could play this note from the other one. And all of a sudden, All these, they tie into each other once you learn the simple thing of going, let's go up from that A 
string and the G string. Go up two, go up two more, go up one. So you went two, two, one, two, two, one, then two. How hard is that? Two, two, one, two, two, one, two. That's it. Going upwards. Two, two, one, two, two, one, two. Brings you right back to your A. Okay, here. Two, two, one, two, two, one, two. And you're back to A. It is that simple. Okay, that's that's your scale, kids. Okay, so you start here, then two, two, one, two, two, one, two. That's how many frets you're skipping, or playing away from, not skipping. So you're going up two frets, up two frets, up one fret, up two frets, up two fret, up one fret, up two frets, and you're done. Backwards, same thing. So now you're at here. Go back two, one, then two, two, one, two, two. So it's just the opposite backwards. So stick that in your head. Then no matter where you go, you're on A. Are you going to go forward or are you going to go backward? Well, let's have some fun. I can't go all the way up there. Okay, so let's go backward then. So we have to go back two, one, two, two. And then we have to go two again, but we had to go to a different string because we ran out of guitar neck. Okay, so going up on your high E string, fifth fret. Okay, it's two, two, one, two, two, one, two. Okay, so from the fifth fret, two, two, one, two, two, one, and two will bring it back to your A. So here, two, two, one. Two, two, one, two. Wow, amazing. Okay, so keep that in mind, and it's in every key. Of course, like if you're in C, you can't sit there and hold that C down uh, with your finger. You can use a capo, you know, at any time, and it will work out just fine and dandy. Um, if you need that low note to work on, grab a capo, stick it on there. So now that's a C note. So you're just using it so you can practice. So now you just go to the A string, go to the 5th fret, which is C, because it's an octave, like that. So C, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2. So here, it don't matter, I'm looking down just counting. 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2. Hey, what do you know? I know it. Okay, but these notes have to sink in. Look at the dots. 2, 2, 1. Okay, two, two. So from here, from there, two, two, they're both on the dots. One, then two, two, one, two. Okay, just look at what works in each key. That will solve so many problems for you. And again, I know that the C is here on my high E string, same thing. Here, then two, two, one, Two, two, one, two. Okay, so you just get to learn them. That's just the point of this little tiny demonstration. More of a demonstration than a lesson, but um, hopefully you learned something from that. This, again, is for beginners who are trying to learn stuff all the way up and down the neck. And then once you get all of these all on one string um, connected, um, then you can start, con like start connecting them to the other ones on the other strings. So then all of a sudden it becomes just one big huge fluid thing and they all run together. Which is what you're looking for, a way to tie the entire guitar together. Um, another great thing about this is when you break a guitar string you can finish the song because you don't need that broken string because you know all these riffs and licks and how to play without that string. Okay, because you are going to bust strings. So what do you do? You play around it. No big deal. Okay, it's just music. Um, the same notes are on other strings, so learn to use them. Okay, so learn to play the simple thing like that. Um, one of my favorite things to do, not because they're great songs, but Christmas music is the perfect way.
to sound out things. Okay? You got the whole... just by using what I showed you. But that's the easiest way to remember things. So I'm just sitting there playing those two notes. Um. Uh, kid songs, Christmas songs, those will teach you more than anything else will. They will, you can't, you will be so surprised and you will feel like a dork if anybody hears you. Um, if anybody has ever wondered, I doubt that you have, but if you ever call anybody a dork, look it up in the uh, dictionary before you do that. Okay, I know dork is an old word, but um, just to fill you in, if you look up the word in the dictionary, a dork is a whale's penis. Okay, just so you... I know you never wanted to know that, but that is what it is. So all this time, that anybody has ever called you a dork or vice versa? That's right. It's a whale's genitalia from the male. So that's what a dork is. Okay, there you learned something new. Um, yes, and that means I had to look it up in the dictionary at one time. and We've all looked up the goofy things in the dictionary. <laughs> uh, I love to get sidetracked. Okay, again, just simple things. Now what is cool is later... And, or now, take everything that I've taught you from the very first part of this, the then the back to the A chord. And if you play an electric, throw some distortion on it. If you whatever, play then play them together. exactly what I've taught you. Okay, all of a sudden now I've just got some attitude. I'm just playing those two strings together and I made it. That's my song. It's just coming off the top of my head. <laughs> music, kids tunes, rock and roll, country, it don't matter. This is the foundation of all music, is to learn where all the notes are at and what will work and more importantly what will not work. Um, you do not want to be playing alone. <laughs> It's like, no, <laughs> you can't be playing that. So you have to simply learn shapes and count from two to two more frets to two, then one, then two, two, one, and two. And you're there. Pretty soon all that two, two, one, two stuff will go out of the window when you're counting them. And you will just know that that's where I go. That's... You're, that's why you got fret markers on the side of your guitar. You're like, I play between the dots. There I'm playing between them, between them, between them. Here I'm on it. Here I'm on it again. I'm not there either. But now I am and now I'm not. You know, so um, other things will come in and you will forget all this two, two, one, two, two, one, two stuff. You'll forget. Um, and and then you'll be back to and all 
head and all this stuff will come on your beat. And that's the notes I just showed you. It's just playing them and making them cooler. Um, but I just showed you all this and I showed you so much more than that. But you have to learn this first. So hopefully this is on somebody's level and of course it is. We all can't play pro right out of the box. So for those of you who enjoyed this lesson, um, feel free to click the link right below this video and it will take you to my website where you don't have to buy a single thing. There are tons and tons, did I mention tons, of free lessons. Just right underneath this video it says for free videos click here and it will go to a page full of you know um, I don't know 50, 60, 80, a million, I don't know free videos on how to play so you don't have to search through my you know 500 videos here on YouTube you just go there and it has all my free lessons you can buy lessons there if you want that's cool and everything but if you want free lessons and you know nobody's going to shell out the money you don't have a credit card you don't have PayPal then you're stuck with trying to get stuff for free but for um, what it's worth I'm talking to you, might as well talk to you. Um, and again, oh, that light is killing me. Um, stay away from all the scales and spending all your time doing that. Get away from that. Learn the major pentatonic scale, the blues scale. Um, that is it. I mean, it's just do, re, mi, fo, fa, so, la, ti, do, that old thing. That's all that is, nothing else. So learn that and nothing else. The rest of it is bull. Okay, it really is. So do not spend a ton of money and go to a college, music college, because all they're going to do is teach you scales and modes. And they're like, okay, now we go to the seventh position. Okay, what's that mean to you guys? Okay, I'll tell you what it means. It means go to the seventh fret. Okay, so your parents just spent, you know, $12,000 for you to learn the position. It's not missionary or doggy style. It means to go to the seventh fret. Okay, now we're in the seventh position. So... So there's your E chord in, in the seventh position. You're never going to use it ever. Let's do it in the ninth position. Who wants to play that crap? Okay, so that's what you get if you go to music college and if you continue to study uh, horrible scales and tabs. Throw tabs out the wind. They are the most detrimental thing to your learning you will ever get. So, uh, music books and tabs, um, no, 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 you will never learn. Um, okay, Hendrix and uh, Page fans, Clapton fans, how many of those guys had tabs? None of them. How many of those guys did anything as far as any crap that everybody else is saying you have to do? None of them. They bought a guitar, they just taught themselves how to play. They learned a bar chord from a guy down the street. They learned how to go, um, a bar chord. All of a sudden they're going, you know, so Clapton got that from J.J. Cale, country artist. You didn't think uh, Cocaine was actually a rock and roll song, did you? No, it's a country song. Came along way before Clapton ever did. So anyway, skip the crap. Get the easy stuff like this. Figure it out on your own and it will stick with you. The other stuff won't stick with you. You're reading it. You're not going to remember it. Um, if you figure stuff out on your own but just have a little nudge from, you know, guys like me who are willing to just put it out there with no BS, take it and then learn from it by making mistakes. Keep doing all the stuff I showed you, screw it up. You're going to learn more by screwing up than you are going to be by being spoon fed this stuff that you'll never remember. But if you screw up, you're going to remember it. So if your dad comes along and just smacks you halfway across the room, you're going to remember why. If he says, oh, that's great, son, you screwed up. Here, let's give you a gold star and stick it on your forehead. You're not going to remember that. You know, so you need a good kick in the butt, and that means you screwing up, hopefully in front of other people, so you'll really remember it. But learn to play. That means learn by doing, not by reading other people's um, chicken scratch that is going to be wrong because you will not remember it and it's going to be wrong anyway and then you're going to be stuck knowing wrong stuff in your head and you can't unlearn this stuff so 
best thing is to avoid it at all costs to begin with. Do it right. Figure things out on your own more than anything. And like I said, step in. Get help from guys like me. I don't care if it's me or not. It doesn't matter. Um, that's the last thing in the world. Uh, the fact that you even have access to this in this day and age is great. Um, it's superb. Use all of it you can, but dismiss most of it. Learn to know what is real and what is crap. If you have tons of scales everywhere all over the place, skip it. Bunch of tabs, bunch of everything else, skip it. Learn by playing. Okay, you're going to learn more by playing, learn more, more by making mistakes than any other method out there. So you might as well do it right the first time. Earn your uh, credibility. Uh, put your time in, make your mistakes, but what you do right, you will remember forever. What you do wrong, you'll remember forever, but you're not doing it on anybody else's terms, okay? So don't let everybody screw you up with all that other junk. Um, sit down with the thing, play what sounds right, uh, whenever you screw it up, don't play that again. Okay, it's that easy. Once again, Scott Grove, Groovy Music Lessons. Click the link below. Get all the free lessons you want. Um, just play well. Be happy. And that's it. <laughs> uh, music's supposed to make you happy, man. Just go be happy. Live long and prosper. Nanu, nanu. Take care. Bye-bye.